imagination. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? In seconds, you're transported to another place, another time, another situation. The problem is that because we don't tend to want to control our or try to control our imagination, we imagine all kinds of things, including the things that we don't like to even think about. So we, we go back and we reimagine past events, but we also we also imagine things in the future. And it's those things in the future that are problematic because when we're not consciously imagining, meaning intentionally imagining, then what happens is our mind will take us to all the things we don't want to imagine. <laughs> and we spend our time there imagining the things we don't want to have happen. And so then what happens? What happens is we create that. So I know that sounds woo-woo and out there that you know when we're imagining things, we're creating, creating them. Um, and if you don't believe in the law of attraction or you think that's all too woo-woo, um, I get it, I get it. Not everybody believes in conscious or deliberate creation. But think about what one of the most famous scientists said, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein said, imagination is everything. It's the preview of life's coming attractions. Think about that. Imagination, it's everything. It's the preview of life's coming attractions. So if you think Einstein knew something, knew a little bit about a thing or two, then we can take that to mean that he really thought that our imagination was creative, that our mind is creative. And indeed, I really do think that we create what we imagine, that when we're imagining, we're creating. I talk about this a lot in my Inspired Creator community because, you know, this has been a passion of mine for a really long time, this idea of creation and how do we create what we want? How do we create our desires? How do we create anything? And I don't really believe that we can manifest something you know out of thin air that if I want a Maserati that it's going to be sitting in my driveway tomorrow just because I imagined it or visualized it no I don't really think that but I do believe that when we combine what we're thinking about and imagining and um, focused on with uh, emotion around that and with action that we stand a pretty good chance of creating what we want even that Maserati which is not really what I want, but anyway. So we talk about this a lot in the Inspired Creator community because I, I believe we all are creative, that we're all born um, into this world as spiritual beings and human bodies and that we have a spark of divinity in us, a spark of creative um, creativity that is the same creativity as divine intelligence or source or creator or whatever you want to call it. So I talk about this a lot in the Inspired Creator community. And sometimes people will say to me um, that it's too hard to visualize. Like they're being, if I tell them to visualize something, they're like, well, but I have a hard time visualizing. And I get that because sometimes I have a hard time visualizing. Um, sometimes I find myself talking myself through my visualization um, or I can't really get to that place of feeling or seeing or any of it. So I, I get that when you're told to visualize, that can feel hard. Imagining is easier because we imagine naturally. We don't have to try to imagine. We just do it all the time. All the time we're imagining things. So we can choose what we want to imagine. Now, there are other things you could do if somebody tells you to visualize, you know, or, or in place of visualization, you could do self-hypnosis or... Um, yeah, but it, the thing is that when somebody tells you to visualize or to do self-hypnosis or anything like that, I think that the mind gets in the way. We start telling ourselves that indeed it's hard, that I can't see it, I can't feel it, I can't smell it, I can't, you know, feel any of that. See, feel, smell, hear, you know, that I'm trying to visualize, but I just, it's all just words in my head, not pictures. So... When you think about imagining, it gets easier. It removes some of those mental blocks to being able to see what you want and to focus on what you want. So I wanna give you a few tips so that you can begin imagining what you want, okay? That you can create this 
preview of your future life, the future life you want, not that you don't want, that you can create that. So here are some tips. First of all, decide what it is you want. You have to be clear. You know, I talk about this all the time here on my blog and on my YouTube videos, in my YouTube videos and in the Inspired Creator community. You have to know what you want. So get clear. What is it you want? Make that decision. Then sit down somewhere where it's quiet, where you can sit for five or 10 minutes and just take a few deep breaths. You might try 7-Eleven breathing. Um, which is known to get you into a deeper state where it's easier to imagine or <clears throat> it's almost like self-hypnosis. So you just breathe in for seven counts and out for 11. In for seven, out for 11. Do that maybe three, four times. Or just take a few deep breaths, whatever works for you. Then once you've done that, so the first thing is know what you want to create, then to sit down, take a few deep breaths, just get quiet and centered. Okay, then you're just going to imagine what you want. Just imagine, you know, like for me, I imagine a beach house. I want to be in my beach house sitting on the porch or the deck and looking at the beach. And I want to imagine what that's going to be like, like the wind in my hair, the, you know, my, my hair is blowing, wind in my hair, the smell of the salt water, the sound of the waves, um, the sun glimmering on it, the people walking on the beach. I just <clears throat> want to visualize that or imagine that, sorry. Maybe I imagine walking around the house or what the house looks like from the outside. So you just imagine what you want and you use all your senses okay see smell feel here okay so use your senses and just allow yourself to drift in your imagination now the fourth part of this is to go ahead and let your mind wander and just enjoy the ima your imagination doing what it does naturally you've directed it to imagine something it's very comfortable doing that and there'll be much less resistance than if you visualize <clears throat> now i said let your mind wander and enjoy your mind might wander off to some other topic, probably something you do not want. When you notice that, just bring it back. Just go, oh, that's not really what I want. I'll come back over here, right? And I'll just imagine this. So you don't want to go into imagining, like for me, how am I going to afford this house, you know, or I'm going to be in this house and I'm going to be worried about paying for it. <clears throat> no, you want to actually, you know, I want to imagine being in the house and being financially able to take care of it. Like that's not even in the picture. It's just that I have this house and I'm enjoying it and everything's cool. All right, so then what you can do is you can end your imagination time, your intentional imagining, let's call it intentional imagining. You can end it with a word like amen or amen, which basically means it is done. Or say something like it is done and know that it's done. Just release it or say, so be it, so it is. Or even use a little affirmation that I often use. This or something better is now coming to me at the perfect time and in the perfect way for my highest good and the highest good of all concerned. Anything like that, but just do that and then dismiss it, let, let it go. Let, let Know that you did everything you could do and release it to the universe. Now, <clears throat> there are some other things that you can use your imagination for or with in order to create what you want. And one is affirmations. So if you're a, a proponent of using a affirmations, which are just positive statements about what you want, um, anything from um, I am wealthy to I am healthy to I now enjoy uh, time with my soulmate, whatever it is, you can use the imagination with the affirmation. Just imagine what it would be like to have or experience whatever it is you're affirming. Affirm it and then just let your mind go to what would that be like? What would it really be like to, to be that person or have that experience or have that thing? You can also use imagination with your vision boards, which is really what vision boards are all about. So it's talked a lot about in terms of, you know, in the circle, law of attraction circles and um, deliberate and conscious creation circles. We talk about vision boards in my inspired creator community. <clears throat> They're just, you take pictures of what you want, pictures that elicit emotions and get your imagination flowing, right? You put them on a poster board 
and you look at them and you see them every day and you allow yourself to feel what it would be like to have these things and you let the pictures elicit the feelings and the thoughts and get your imagination going. So vision boards are a good prompt for imagining what you want, okay? Um, Pinterest is a great place to do that. Search for, you know, beach house and just start pinning pictures of the beach houses that you would really love to live in. Great way to do, to use your imagination. So don't overcomplicate the idea of the law of attraction and visualization. You know, law of attraction and visualization, we're always being told, you know, combine your thought with your feeling and, you know, think about what you want, combine your thought and your feeling. See it all in your mind's eye. Feel it, see it, blah, blah, blah. Not that I don't believe any of that, but that does to a certain extent overcomplicate it. And for those of us who struggle to see and feel and hear and all those things when we're told to visualize, imagining is so much easier. Just do what you already do. Imagine, but do it intentionally. Intentionally imagine what you want. Allow yourself to just go to that feeling place that happens when you imagine. So don't force it, make it easy. That is my challenge for you today. Start imagining every day what it is you want. Just imagine, just imagine, just imagine what it would be like. Just imagine what it would be like in three months, six months, 12 months, if you had what you wanted, what would that be like? Imagine, imagine. So I'm Nina Amir, I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I love to help people move towards creation of whatever it is they want. It doesn't matter what it is, health, uh, wealth, <laughs> books, success, better relationships, expressing their soul. I just like to get them from where they are now to where they wanna go. So if you feel stuck where you are and you I know you have somewhere else you really wanna go, someone you wanna be, something you wanna create, I'd love to help you get from A to B without anything getting in your way, which typically is you and what's going on up here, just like it's hard to visualize. Well, that's just you and your way of visualizing. You can visualize, we can all visualize. So if you are interested in personal growth, spiritual growth, um, if you're an author who's writing mind, body, spirit, how to prescriptive nonfiction, um, then the Inspired Creator community is the place for you. I'd really love to invite you into the Inspired Creator community. This is a community of people who are working on themselves with personal growth. They are elevating and expanding themselves with spiritual growth, and they are writing books, the majority of them. Now, some of them might not be writing a book, or they're writing a book and they're only interested in personal growth, or they um, are only are interested in the personal and spiritual growth, but they're not writing a book, or they're writing a book and they don't care about all the woo-woo spiritual stuff. So it's a little bit like a buffet and you can choose what you want in the Inspired Creative Community, but if you're all three of those things, if you're an aspiring author and you're interested in personal growth and interested in spiritual growth, then the Inspired Creative Community is a perfect place for you to be amongst people like you, people who are growth-oriented, spiritual, and looking to make a difference in the world with books and articles and blogs. So the link is up above. I forgot to say that. So the link is up above. Check out the Inspired Creator Community and join, join our community. If you're interested just in high performance coaching, I am a high performance coach and you can um, use this other link that's up above to apply for a free 30 minute strategy session with me and we'll meet and see where what you're looking to accomplish and whether we're a good fit see whether high performance coaching and having me as your coach is the right thing for you um, whether that that's what you're looking for whether you know for both of us whether we think it's a good fit <clears throat> i also do author coaching you can just go to my site ninaamir.com um, or write nonfictionnow.com check out um, the information about author coaching. Um, I can put a link up above for that as well. But know that you can get all of that in one place if you join the Inspired Creator community and for much less money, so for less of an investment. So imagine what that would be like to be, to, to, to move yourself from point A to point B, to finally get to where you wanna go, to finally step into being the type of person who can do the things that are necessary to have whatever it is you want. I would like to help you do that. It would be my honor 
to support you in that journey. So if that's what you're interested, please check out the Inspired Creator Community and reach out if you have questions or leave me a comment down below. And until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.